Hello everyone, got another vlog coming at you here. So my car is getting inspected and I'm just gonna go explore downtown Charlottetown, try to have some fun with it, because I won't have a car for the rest of the day. And yeah, you kind of need a car to do anything here on PEI, except go downtown if you live in town. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So first things first, had to go to Tim Hortons to get ourselves a nice coffee. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start heading to downtown now on foot. So should be there in around 15 minutes or so. So I made it to the trails. There's a set of trails that goes along all of Prince Edward Island and it luckily goes through town and takes us right to the downtown. So that's good. You can see right where I'm pointing, there's a jail there or it used to be a jail. Now it's a coffee shop. So it's actually a pretty cool little spot. Bar 1911, if you've ever been. But yeah, I'm just gonna continue on the trail which is gonna take us right to Holland College. I made it to Joseph Giz Park and in the background you can see the Holland College buildings there. This is actually a pretty nice little park that's just at the stretch of the own town section. So yeah, it's nice we got kids to come here as part of the uh, biking trail as well. It's very well maintained. So I made it to Holland College now and this is the campus. It's really nice. I didn't go to here, I went to UPI, but I did some recruitment stuff when I was a personal trainer and really nice campus. So I'm just cutting through here to save some time and uh, it's really hot so I'm soaked in sweat. <laughs> This is probably the worst time to be doing an outdoor vlog because there is a heat stroke right now, but I don't really have many other options for things to do because I don't have a car. So it is what it is. So I had to run downtown because I am soaked in sweat and there's a nice breeze coming off the water now. So I should cool down a little bit. So we're down to the cruise port now. That's the Stratford Bridge there. Nice little lighthouse made out of wood and I'm getting a really nice breeze. The cruise port's really nice. A lot of tourists come here because there's a lot of different shops and restaurants you can see there. Some dark clouds there, so I'm hoping I don't get rained on, but it might be nice because I am sweating. This is the Charlottetown Events Ground. They got this really cool tree display up. Not sure what it's for, but got the Delta Hotel in the background there. And yeah, it's beautiful here. It's one of my favorite places in Charlottetown. Like the view from the events ground is just gorgeous. You got the water behind you there, the cruise port. There's a bunch of nice flowers too. This is like easily my favorite part of the town. If you're just going to chill out, they have a lot of events here too. And you can see the St. Dunstan's Basilica behind me there. Very cool. So after this, I walked around the Peaks Key, which is a beautiful location. There's some nice rose bushes here. And here is the actual Peaks Key with the Peaks Key restaurant in the background. You can get some tours here. There's lots of great options for food. My personal favorite is JC's Tiki Bar. And then there is also some live music, which is really nice. You're gonna see that coming up here. And there's a guy playing some guitar and singing along, which I can't play because of copyright. But uh, then there's also Cows, which is a big tourism draw here if you're looking to get ice cream. But overall, it is a very beautiful location. Yeah, those clouds are looking menacing behind me, but this breeze is so nice. I'm actually cooling down finally, but I think I'm gonna go look for some food here or go to the library because I have a lot of time to pass. <laughs> so now I'm walking up Queen Street, which is really the busiest part of the downtown section. And there's a lot of different restaurants and places to go eat here. So I'm gonna go explore, maybe get a drink at a gas station or something first and continue on. Yeah, the heat wave continuing onwards. I'm sweating again, but I got myself a little prime drink just to stay a little bit more hydrated. <laughs> oh, this is this is brutal, but beautiful downtown Charlottetown. It's really nice down here. So next I was looking for some air conditioning, so I just walked around. This is Victoria Row here, and I went by the museum and the Confederation Center of the Arts, which is right here. This is one of our biggest hotels as well, the Holman Grand and Redwater Restaurant. Very nice location, but uh, I found my coolness and I was about to go into the mall here. I had to go into the mall because I am sweating really badly. Like it is getting gross. Someone was laughing at me and be like, you're a little warm. And I was like, yep, I am. <laughs> so just entering the mall now. The downtown mall has seen better days, but 
I think it's still kind of cool. There's a food court there. It has urban eatery and a little golf store and a bunch of little stores in the bottom. It's really nice, but definitely a shell of its former self. This is one of the coolest parts of the mall. It's a bridge that goes over the main road here. You can see all the way through town from here. Super cool. And there's Town Hall right there. Very nice day. It's very hot though. And I'm back outside again. Already heating up again. But I'm just gonna go explore. And I just went to my favorite place, High Mart on Queen Street, to give myself a G Fuel Rainbow Sherbet energy drink. Delicious. A lot of caffeine though. Now I'm just walking down to Victoria Park, just killing more time because this car is taking forever. But yeah, this is another place that I really enjoy in Charlottetown. Victoria Park is beautiful. Can't see it here, but even this little park in front of me is really nice too, in front of the provincial buildings. Rochford Heritage Square. This is the park. Got a really nice flower decoration set up there. And yeah, this park is pretty quiet most times. There's not a lot of people that go here. I think this park is really great though because it's underrated. No one goes here and it just looks beautiful down by the provincial government buildings. So yeah, very nice. Like, just look at this. You can sit down inside this little flower display. Very nice. Look at this. This is just crazy. And there's the government buildings. So I just walked to Victoria Park now. It's not too far from the downtown area. There's the provincial government buildings in the background. This is just a big open field you can take your dog go run around in and it's really nice we're coming up on victoria park i'm just gonna pan around and you can see that behind me there's vp victoria park i'm gonna walk in there and give a little tour of that place as it's one of the nicest parts of downtown i believe in my opinion so yeah and here's the lieutenant governor's house now i'm not allowed to go there anymore because it got shut down. People were peeing and pooping all over the place, I guess. So yeah, they shut that down real quick and it might be open for tours at particular times of day, but I see that they shut that down. Not allowed for photos, anything like that, which kind of sucks. There's the famous Beaconsfield house. And it looks like there's an event going on. That's pretty cool. But here is Victoria Park, beautiful park. I come here like two or three times a week. Like it is just an absolute, delight and having this in the city is really nice too because it's a bit of a calm place you can go to you know play around uh, do some sports there's baseball fields here and trails so it's a great place to get active i just popped a squad here on a bench there's a bunch of different benches here alongside this beautiful park so yeah i'm just gonna chill here let the breeze get my sweat off and hopefully cool down a little bit my girlfriend's gonna be coming downtown here soon, thankfully to give me some support. And uh, yeah, we're gonna probably go get food or something, wait for my car. <laughs> they have this big theater here for uh, events and music. Really nice, cause this is a big wide open area and they have a big wide open area there and a dairy bar. So there's a lot to do here. Really nice. And uh, again, it's a great place to play sports and just come hang out, friends, family, etc. It is big. And beautiful <laughs> and there's three ballparks there as well as a large group of interconnected trails that I'm just gonna go through here trying to find some shade these trails are so nice there's a lot of squirrels here and there's even salamanders and a bunch of other creatures just crawling around I want to go to dead man's pond and then probably head back on into town there's a little squirrel here making some friends And here is Dead Man's Pond, one of my favorite spots in town. It is just beautiful this time of year. Look at all those lily pads and aquatic life. There's salamanders hidden around somewhere here, but I don't want to go find them. I'm honestly surprised there's no one else here, but here's the Dead Man's Pond signage, which talks about some of the creatures that are here. I love this spot. It's very, very chill. And I kind of want to jump in the water and cool down, but it's murky and black and I'd probably get some something gross from it. There's a lot of little things hopping around in the water there though. Tadpoles. That's cool. But yeah, going to go back into town now, find the girlfriend and go eat. It is so hot and humid, you can smell every single plant in here. And it's actually really nice. I like whenever it's humid to the point where you can smell trees and plants and stuff, but 
yeah, I need to get back down by the water to get some cool breezes and then, yeah, find some <laughs> AC and food. And look who I found. <laughs> so we're gonna go find some place to eat. We ended up going to John Brown Grill on Victoria Row. We can sit inside or outside, but since there's air conditioning, we decided to go indoors and it was a really nice spot. It is so hot out today that we are having a sticky date here at the restaurant. <laughs> So here's a little look around of the John Brown Grill restaurant. It's really nice. And for our appetizer, we got beef nachos. They were delicious and very filling. Probably could have stopped eating there. But we also got the burger and the lamb burger, which it was a little bit dry, but still pretty good. But we definitely left stuffed because we had a very challenging time finishing it all off. As you can see, I was able to finish mine though. And then afterwards we stepped outside and they have live music here and there was someone playing violin. It was very beautiful and they always have people playing music here so if you're in the area you should definitely check it out if you enjoy live music. So here is the province house and it has been under construction for the last seven years. So hopefully if you're coming here to visit it'll be open when you visit. And here's the St. Dunstan's Basilica Church. You can see this from all over town, so it's a nice landmark to be able to find your way back if you're from the downtown area. So the food from John Brown's was delicious. I got the nachos and burger, and it was so good. Now I'm just gonna go pick up my car, so thank you so much for checking out this vlog. And my audio is all messed up here, but I really appreciate you checking this video out. Thank you so much.